What's up, y'all? It's your girl saying I'm back with another Love is Blind recap of episode eight. That was a good episode. I'm going to start from the bottom of the episode, which was in, like, uh, it was Chelsea's birthday party. Josh decided to come, y'all. He sort of pissed me off because, like, mind y'all, these people are engaged, getting married in, like, two weeks. Josh takes it upon himself to talk to um, Jackie. But the thing is, like, you know, he sort of was, like, joking with Marshall. Like, oh, yeah, we're just bros. And he had so, sort of said, like, a line, like, still your girl, still your girl. And I'm like, you being respectful, knowing these people are getting married, engaged in two weeks, would have been to tell him your intentions. Like, you moving, like, na- like the way he moved was just nasty. I think everybody felt that way. You could tell the looks and attention in the room at the end. Like, at the end, the cliffhanger was them all just looking at Josh, yeah, Josh and Jackie. And I'm like, I wasn't feeling that vibe from Josh. I don't think... You should have fought for her in the pods. Like, if you really wanted her, you really should have gave that extra chance because you know what was online here. So I did not like that part of it, you know, very much so. So we'll see how that goes next Friday because these people and they Fridays. Yeah, crazy, but it's whatever. Then we had um, Jackie and Marshall had a big argument. And basically because he felt like she had questioned his, like, manhood. You know, he's not really, like, one of those people that are, like, aggressive so I understood that that's where he had got mad at. But for him to call her a project was my biggest problem. Like, you know, you you don't call anyone a project. I know, like, he had, like, fixed it. He had, you know, re- corrected himself. But still, calling someone a project, that's hard to take back. Because, no. You know, we all are work in progress. But calling someone, like, oh, you're my project. I'm trying to work on you. That came off as, like, I understood why Jack, I could have been mad at him for that line, too. I was like, like what, Marshall? A project? She's your project? Like, What? You know, that just, like, takes her out of being a human. If she's your project, that just, it didn't come off right. Like I said, he fixed himself, though, so it's okay. I don't want to speak on Kwame too much this episode because he really did piss me off when he decided to go and talk to Micah again at Chelsea's party. At Chelsea's party, he talked to Micah, and it just pissed me off. Like, and the questions he was asking her, and I'm just like, you're doing this behind my girl Chelsea's back. She doesn't deserve this, you know, and it's like, I don't know. He just moving a little. Because, you know, in the earlier episode, he was talking about how he was moving from Oregon. He just felt like he was doing a lot of sacrifices. Okay, Kwame, you were on my bad, bad side in this episode. But we'll see, what, how, you know, we'll see how you recover next week, if you do recover, just saying. And it was a part when Bliss and Zach were, like, eating dinner. She had just moved into the apartment or the, you know, where they're staying at. And I don't feel like, you know, I feel like um, Bliss will continue to bring that up about the Irina being picked second because she doesn't want to feel like a second choice I think that's her biggest thing she does not want to feel like because your first option didn't work I'm your second choice that's the thing he has to understand and I feel like she is going to keep bringing it up Zach has to understand that I feel like I don't know if he understands it but that hurt her even though it was a part when she was like I'm the better option she was like uh-uh don't say that you're well she was like I'm the, you know I was the better person he's like don't say that you're the better one I'm like okay fine she's the better fit for you you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day, yes, she was the better person. I'm sorry. I understand. I don't feel like that's saying she's the best. She's just saying she's the better person for you. She's the better person in the situation. And it should not be a problem with that. You know, don't say you're the better person. I understand Zach trying not to start drama, but I'm still like, okay, bro, whatever you say. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to begin to talk about Brett and Tiffany a little bit. But Brett, just as a, like, a person, I feel like he's the one everyone goes and talks to. He's just so like, his vibe is so genuine, calm, and... I don't know. He just has a super nature. Even Marshall had talked to him. So I feel like he's when everybody like goes and talks to. It was a part when him and Tiffany were at the park on like the little thing. And they were talking about like getting married, the wedding. And he's like, let's just do one thing at a time. He, like, you know, anything she's, he said, it would really calm her down. You can definitely tell like that's definitely something that's really attractive, you know. And it's because you could tell anytime he talks, he's just going to calm her down. She's in a different mindset. And I'm like, okay, I see you. Like, that's good. That's really a good thing, guys. Micah's friends. We're going to talk about this real quick. I don't like how that went. It was like one of Micah's friends' birthdays, so her and Paul went. And so Paul was just saying his how he felt about the, you know, like, basically, I feel like as soon as they got, mind you, it was drinks of all, but as soon as it was just like conversations started popping up. So, like, this and that and that. And I'm like, that's not how you get to, like, especially in this setting, you know, with drinks, it's your birthday no like me I'm gonna get to know you before I just start throwing all these questions and judge you that day you know from like being meeting you in 30 minutes making you all these questions and it's like dang I can't even get like a genuine vibe and then Micah's and you know Paul had said I don't really care about their opinions it's like how you feel about me and she's like 
don't say that. Like, you should care about what they say. And I'm like, he should care, but at the end of the day, you're his fiance. You know what I'm saying? He's, you're who he has to marry. So he's more worried about your opinions and your thoughts. And I don't think it was to, like, judge your friends, but it's like, they didn't get to know this dude. They just started asking him questions, started judging from the jump. And it's like, dang, you know, you're not defending him. So what else are you, you know, Micah, like, come on. Micah, this episode, she did get on my nerves again. Even though it was a part when I blissed did walk in and um, she was sort of saying how she felt. She's like, yeah, I'm, like, really proud of them and I hope they work. You know, just, it gave, why did y'all have to add this scene in there? And the cheers, <laughs> you know, and she was, like, talking about herself. And I'm just like, y'all could have chose anybody else, but y'all chose Micah. Like, y'all want the drama to start. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. I do feel like her friends could have. And the girls just, like, they said the end, thumbs down. One girl was, like, thumbs up. The other one was, like, thumbs down. At the end, I understand they're your best friends, but it's like you still have to like, okay, y'all, this is my man. Like he's y'all haven't got to see him for all he is, and boom. Like I said, the environment too. Y'all drinking, y'all turn. I don't understand. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I did think it was cute that Micah's dad and Paul's name is Paul. Like that's dope. But yeah, it was a good episode. I feel like it's a lot to be, um, a lot to. Oh look. All I know is we getting the marriage, marriages walking down the aisle next episode, and I'm so excited. But thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all so much. I can't wait to see who gets married and who doesn't get married next episode because y'all know some people ain't getting married. But thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all and deuces.